Hey, look, we're playing Binary Domain. A game that came out literally like 10 years ago, I think. Uh, Xbox 360 game. So, you could definitely tell. But uh, I played this on the, orig on the Xbox 360 originally, I think. But I don't think I beat it. But I guess we'll change that now. It's got the most bare bones options you'll ever see ever. Also kind of janky on PC from what I gather. So I'm sure this will go well. Orders from the International Robotics Technology Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly and investigate reports of Amida Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums, rendezvous with the other national squads, and head for Amida. This is a covert operation without the awareness or consent of the Japanese government. You may engage local forces in combat, but IRTA will disavow any involvement. Good luck and Godspeed. As is tradition. Geisha girls, you ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Is it lace? Also, if I remember correctly, this game had a weird thing with like voice input for commands. Yo, Dan, let's go over the communication system. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. What if I don't want to? Understand how to use your radio now? Good answer. Keep it up. Next, let's go over our gear, handling weapons and battle techniques. You can skip this if you don't need it. So you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? Absolutely not. You know this stuff already. All right, let's move out. Oh, I've already got full ammo. Oh god, the sensitivity is a bit crazy. Yo, I was wondering, what are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation, chicks, tropics? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. Well, better get this job done quick then. Why we gotta execute the operation in this shitty weather? Big ball. Where's little ball? Oof. Sprint is on space. Right, let's go. We should get in touch with HQ too. Not sure I like that one. Beetle to the base. Loud and clear, Beetle 2. Line is secure, tracking locked. Current position, 35 degrees, 6356 six seconds, by 139 degrees, 7724 seven, seconds. Ah, oh, thanks, Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead of you. Yeah, we're approaching now. Shouldn't be a problem. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love her. I heard that, Botang. Base out. Ah, you can tell then this game was mad. Damn it. 
Busted already. I got a visual on six. On seven. They're flanking us. Major, we're under attack. How about some ground support? This is what we pay you for, Bojang. Just get to that rendezvous point. <laughs> You're expecting anything different? Not since they started calling you the survivor. Worst day of my life. Hey, wasn't my idea. Move out! The survivor. Uh oh, I think they know we're here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Dan, those things are bad news if they get too close. Stop them by shooting their legs. There you go. You got it, Dan. Now put it away for good. Now aim for their heads. They can't tell friend from foe after a solid headshot. Go on, yeah, like I can break. zoom in that far. Fuck is the reload button? Sweet. I thought you said there were only seven scrap heads out here. Relax, it's nothing we can't handle. God, the fact that you don't zoom in very far at all is like really uncomfortable. Man, they just don't get hey Dan, this shit's in the way. Do something about it. Shock attack. Yeah, but how do I fire it? Ah yes, the classic press and hold M, but it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> I remember reading something about the fucking... Keybinds on this are lies and that it's better to play it with a controller. So I guess I'm playing this with a controller. Damn, a surveillance spot at 12. Careful now. We'll call reinforcements if it spots us. Danny boy, a freaking star, man. You did it, Dan. Good job, man. My problem is I don't remember how to aim properly with a controller ammo. Well, RB is the fucking... Wait, was RB the reload? I don't know. Damn 
So I have to play with fucking. Apparently, hmm. the Seagate's gonna open to let the tanker in. Then we could hitch a ride. We have to time this perfect, or we're shit out of luck. Go for a fast grab. Ready? Man, they in the places crawling with surveillance box. We're dead meat if they spot us. Okay, here's the plan. We move forward stealth like hiding in the shadow. We got surveillance spots. Then take cover underwater. Whew. We dodged a bullet there. Now we gotta hurry. Make up for lost time. Over here, bro. How janky. What do you say? Good exercise, huh? Get in shape? Save the world. We got our priorities straight. Spot us if we come out now. Sit tight a little longer. Let's go! Open. Come here. I mean now. Hey, I've got stamina to deal with, bro. Easy, huh? Now we just chill out. Hold on tight, bro. Touch more chilled on the flip side. Got my doubts though. That's how you do it. Piece of cake. Still, that was a little too flashy for a top secret op. Well, obviously they knew we were coming. Dan, time for the wire gun. Alright, think of these as our express elevators. Take aim! Let's not waste time getting through here. He buns a hella dank, dank, dank. Oh, hey, is it my birthday or something? Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of here. So, you want to go over how it's done? Just trying to help, but if you'd rather just get it over with, fine by me. Yeah, yeah. I see the guests are still arriving. Shame they brought guns instead of gifts. Damn, grenade them!
sure I can't even hit that dude. Ooh, I'd definitely be able to prefer playing with mouse and keyboard. But if the keybinds are just going to be janky as fuck, trying to figure shit out is going to be confusing. This is the thing in the game. Our credits here. Too damn quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it. Hey, watch out for that machine gun fire. Damn, aim for the gas cylinder. I also don't think I have aim assist on because I originally intended to play with mouse and keyboard as well so this is probably going to be a lot more difficult than it probably should be. Oh no! I want to find out what that button is. Oh, it's middle mouse button. Wait, so when it says M, it doesn't mean M. It means middle mouse. Oh, fuck's sake. What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. Hmm. See, it says press M again. But it's not M. Um, it's not middle mouse button either. Unless. Hmm. Oh. 
Wow. I guess I'm just gonna keep my controller right next to me so I can figure out what buttons are. Nice Let's get that wasn't even middle side. mouse button, that was just the fucking left mouse button. So I guess when it says M, it means A mouse button, which is really goddamn helpful since there's fucking three of them. Five if you count the thumb ones. All right. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. We're definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? What's with you, man? Like I said, we're just getting started here. All these years, I still don't get you sometimes. But I gotta say, feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one, too. You feel me? That's my boy. Let's move out. Why well, you gotta raise a death you like take point, oh. brother. Are there any secrets up here? Answer is yes, it's an SMG. Wow, reload his middle mouse out, button as well. give up. I'm just gonna walk around to fucking shoot this dude I guess. Oh my god. Upgrade station. Oops. F is back. Why does that make any sense? The most frustrating part of this game. Fucking keybinds. Oh, brother. We got a lot of eyeballs out there. What do you say? Blitz them? Thought you might say that. Ready when you are. We go as soon as you open that door. Man, they just don't give up. Okay, here we go. Fire! Shit, Sherlock. Oh, 
Well, that didn't go very well. Calm down. How nice I can just walk in here. Uh oh. my minigun go? This is bad. Gotta do something. Damn. Check it out. Up there. Looks like they use a crane in here. Bet we could use it to slam that container into the bastard. There's gotta be a control panel around here. Let's find it. What do you want to bet it's like... Get off her. Give me a hand. Get over here quick. I'm coming. Get over here quick. Shit, there's no end to this. That's what we needed. Damn, let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! Here he comes! <clears throat> let me have it! Oh, I don't actually have to do anything with this one? Well, that's handy. Oh my god, 10 days ago in the Detroit. Lovely city. What in the world did you do to me? Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Luther's years. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> Why? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Still! <laughs> The 
externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Well, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well, now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you? Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ. If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see, I try back up that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Japan. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. Well, that's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. And they wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. We're going to Switzerland. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man. Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? Oh, what the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've reestablished the comm. Do you read? I'm a jump. Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast. We've detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! The point is, stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, he tells us. Thanks for nothing, Major. <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out. 
We Whoa, talk about a close one. Dad, watch out for those pipes. Oh, how far are we gonna slide? I have to tell you I hate thrill rides. Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Could be better, could be worse, you know? Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! Oh! That don't look good! Jump for it! Oof. Hey, are you all right? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh no, not the inner peace. Yo, Dan, hi. So this is the resistance HQ was talking about. Dan, of all the shit to stumble into. Oh. Man, this ain't fair. We ain't part of no resistance. Yeah, well, maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens, too. But I wish there was a way to zoom in further, because I cannot see these people at all. I know I'm blind, Gim, but this is a bit ridiculous. Grenade left. I do, in fact, have grenades left. Yo, Dan, leave some for the rest of us, huh? We got the bonus situation to think about. Hey, don't mean I want to do all the work. Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper, take cover. I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. Where are they? Take out those snipers. My life's in your hands, brother. Here goes nothing. Sniper at 12 o'clock. Bitch. Sniper at eleven o'clock. 
Got him. Good shooting, brother. Reloading. <clears throat> Man, they just don't give up. Please die. Oh, Jesus Christ, this got life on me. I thought it was like a. What the? Dead now, mate. Upgrading the AI in a way, like in theory, assuming the uh, AI isn't shit, basically guarantees that we're uh, assuming the AI is competent. Upgrading them is really good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everybody's got their own agendas, and that includes us, you and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. For pardon fucking me. Sorry to spoil your day. Okay. All right, enough chatter. Let's get busy. Oops. A shield. Oh. So let's say hello. <laughs> so death, bitches. Hey, you walked into me. You need glasses or what? Fire! Any boy, a freaking star, man. Oh my god. Just to be fair, in terms of ammo, this one's really good, but like, <laughs> it sucks. No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. 
Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. <laughs> they ain't green. Reckon they want to light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now. Hey, I said drop your weapons. Are you deaf? it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. Telling you, man, live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How'd it all end up this way, man? Oh, it was an F guess. Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there. Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Yes. Whoa! We got company. <laughs> Let's give him a warm welcome. They're in the air, too. This is bullshit. I got the aerial unit. We're gonna fly them out of the sky. Ow. Like that? We ain't no push 
Are you dead? So no head. Kombuso, Lopongi de Red Daratos. Baby Kodo to no Grand Lassacra, Kino Tesisingo. Tevoni Sinu Star and Chudana? Eh, Sono Yoris. Grand Lansa or Tostanga. Era could you so be the Chitamon? Kombuso, what I better no Gazodis. Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. You know, it's it's funny, but my briefing said this was to be a covert operation. Come on in. What can I say? I like to make an entrance. So, you must be Charlie. It's Commander Charles Gregory to you, thanks. British Division. Yeah, X and my six, right? I kind of guessed that. Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. We all are. This is Lieutenant Rachel Townsend. Hmm. Sergeant Dan Marshall, X Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botan, Ditto. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future? What can I say? They started it. Base to be to what? At London Clear Base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. Know what I mean? Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well,. The French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. The file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the... Mm, <laughs> hey, watch this. Oh, God. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Oh, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. Ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Crazy how the game's gone back to being like the Japanese are the bad people. Meanwhile, we've got like Chinese here that are helping. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. Wow, a game that doesn't make the Russians or the Chinese bad people for once. Crazy. Hey, there's still time. Good judge. 
<laughs> could go back to the status quo. Pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose. Climate went to hell. Three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Oh, bloody hell. That's quite the, uh, contrast. Can blind fire by pressing the fire button while you are behind cover. Ooh, chapter two. Right, we split into two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. At least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Might I remind you that I'm in command here? that I expect pulling rank would benefit your rectitude. So, pretty offensive for your team, Sergeant. Who do I want? Uh, um, hmm. Trust level high. Oh uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, Dyro at the time doesn't trust. At the time this game came out, I seem to remember there being something about like, uh, what's it like trust 
Something to do with like having trust with certain people affects the ending or something. So that tells me we should get started on the other people first because we've already got some aboard. I'm taking the English with me. <laughs> Bias. Right, so our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? It's not so bad. I may have personal bias to pick the English, but I'll take it. Oops. Say, Sergeant, this may prove a touch off topic, but are you partial to a tipple? Oh, not this again. Well, Sergeant, I'd wager you could hold your liquor. I figured. When the mission's done, there's a stiff drink waiting for me. Couldn't keep this business up without knowing that. Charlie, focus on the mission. Team building is an essential element of mission cohesion, young lady. True. Surveillance bots. The pairs, they're searching for us. Ooh. Wait, do I have... What are those bars? Those aren't trust, are they? There's four bars of trust, so we're in the second one. Hmm. Do I have skills? Proves base health. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, they're not gonna have any. Our route takes us through there. Stay sharp, people. I don't have any money to spend on here. 